Hello and welcome to another battery test, this time on iOS 13.1.1. Since I just did a battery test of iOS 13.1, I will not be showing that in this video, just the results. If you would like to see that video, click the top right corner of this video for the link. So let's get these devices prepared. As always, I'll make sure that these devices have the correct settings before we run the test. So that means I will set the brightness at 25% make sure auto brightness is disabled and finally swing by the battery health and verify that all devices are still clogging in at 100%. And when this is done I will launch Geekbench 4, run the battery test within and let it do its job. So we're ready to go, let's start Geekbench in 3, 2, 1, start.
So there you have them, old scores combined in one slide. This slide is really getting busy with three iOS versions represented in one slide. But for sure it's very evident that whatever battery drain Apple fixed it's not visible in these scores. So apparently it's not something that would cause the phones to drain while running Geekbench. So according to this test, the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S, which both have A9 processors, are scoring lower on iOS 13.1.1 than they do on iOS 13 and 13.1. Whereas iPhone 7, 8 and XR are all getting better scores, although all are within a very small margin of each other. So thank you for watching this video, please click like on your way out, it helps others find this video easier and also the channel. And as always, subscribers have faster iPhone with better battery life. Peace.